there she stood in her long orange off the shoulder flowing dress with white flowers draping over her tall full figured curvy body her brown mocha hair dazzled with vibrant orange highlights as one side was draped in a long braid trailing to one side off her shoulder as the rest fell naturally beyond her shoulders her healing green eyes matched except for two brown amber specks in her right eye resembling fire ambers you could see just a small discreet part of a tattoo peeking out at the top of her dress ever so slightly flames of fire tattooed the skin of her back while the symbol of fire that of her land was imprinted upon her left foot her name was Anghiari Anghiari lived in the land of Ivestos where it was warm dry and barren with fire as the source of life for her people the landscape stretched for miles with petrified sand dunes with swirls of golden red hues covered by rocks and fine pink sand torches and fire pits were commonly seen stretching throughout the landscape of Ifestos. Off the ground lighting up the sky in significant spots were discs of different sizes constructed out of spithoni rocks, native only to the land of Ephestos. Spithoni rocks were a smooth sandy brown with a red streak going through them like a lightning bolt and when heated got even redder. The Spithoni rocks also when heated became highly magnetic with a great strong force. A few Spithoni rocks were placed in each disc which was connected to a pole that came out of the ground. The material in which the poles were made out of made it so that you could not see the pole and disc so it looked as if the stones and fire were suspended in the air. Fire was their breath deeply embedded in their DNA. So unlike in the other lands, the people and creatures from the land of Ephestos could not be burned or harmed by fire. They never required warm clothing, reason for their naturally inherent inner temperature they were born with. Their homes were unique as well. The fire burned out of the exterior structure as if their home was bursting into flames. There was a special place named Prometheus with a grand entrance of waterfalls of fire on both sides flowing upwards. He would walk down through that entrance into a hall when you reach the end of the hall, the surrounding walls took the triangular shape made out of fire at top, then coming in a circle outwards. Walking through the triangular walls blaze with flames, it was pitch black, not being able to see absolutely anything in front of you. You were to enter in full trust as how to walk through a bit of the way in complete darkness. It didn't matter if you went too much to the left or too much to the right or straight, you ended up in the same place. It was warm as if standing next to a lovely lit fire. And if you closed your eyes, you could sense the fire burning on the exterior of the walls. Anghiari would always dance when she was walking through here, moving with the rhythm of the flames while feeling its soothing heat 
on her skin. She was a dancer of the flame. Dance was a medium of communication with the fire. All the people in Ephesus had their own way of connecting and communicating with the fire. For her, it was dance. For those who were not from the land of Hephaestus, this place, Prometheus, was an initiation to introduce them slowly to the spirit of this land and its element of fire. Prometheus was the entrance to Hephaestus. How long one would remain in this dark area was individual for each person depending on if the land of fire felt they were ready to enter and thus step into the land of Ephesus. There were a few volcanoes on the island. Their lava only poured out of one spot and ended up meeting the lava of the other volcanoes at one particular spot, eventually moving as one out into the ocean. Around the volcanoes among the lava rocks lived the people of Rajothi. They lived in lava tubes underground. Their underground homes were lit by torches, looking like glow worms from above. The area where the Fo people dwelt, and the area where the Tia people lived. In these two places, they each had their own unique mass of fire that burned which all of their homes were built around. 